when I said I wanted to be a Disney princess, Ariel having her voice taken away was not exactly what I meant. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Lilith's Attic. My name is Julia Pasqua and if it isn't obvious, I lost my voice this weekend. <laughs> it's coming back a little bit, but I am apologize for me sounding like a cartoon goose, but this is the only sound I can get out. So welcome back to another Tarot Card Tuesday. It's a little bit later than normal, but we're here and we're going to do it. So let's get started. As you all know, we are currently in the wand suit, so this week, continuing on down the cards, we have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is a card of celebration, and it can specifically highlight exciting events in your life. The Four of Wands itself are holding up a Jewish chuppah, and it signifies a Jewish wedding. The card itself is showing the significance of a special event and or celebration. You can also see the two people in the back who are celebrating, who I'm assuming are just getting married, and they're lifting up their flower bouquets and waving them around in excitement and in celebration. And the whole background itself is yellow, which is a very excited and happy color, and they did that on purpose. If you pull the Four of Wands card, it means that you are celebrating or a big significant life celebration is coming up. So in love, this could be a proposal, a wedding, a marriage. In your career, it could be a graduation. Just any kind of significance of a celebration that marks a special occasion. This card is often referred to as the comfort card. It means that you have hit a point of your life where it brings a lot of comfort and joy and excitement and celebration into your life. It signifies a stable and prosperous time of your life. You have worked hard to achieve your goal and you're being recognized, you're being celebrated by yourself and those around you. It's also a time to celebrate with those around you in your life as well, those who may have helped you get here or those who are now here lifting you up and being excited for your success, whether that be in love, whether that be in business, whether that be in money, anything, they're here to celebrate with you. If you pull this card, in reverse. It's still a positive card, kind of like with the sun card. Either way you pull it, because it's so aggressively positive, it is still a positive card, even if you pull it in reverse. If you pull it in reverse, it means that you're just being a little bit more modest in your celebrations or in your recognition of yourself and in your achievements, and it's a time to reflect on why are you being more modest about it? Why are you not giving yourself the chance and opportunity to celebrate like you should be? Because if you keep celebrating yourself, that will keep this positive flow of achievements and accomplishments going in your life. All right, you guys, you've stuck around this long with my voice being like this. Let's go make the Four of Wands. Come on. So for my Four of Wands card, remember we were either doing the flowers or the wands, the actual magic wands, for the wand suit. But for the Four of Wands, I chose to go with the flower version of the wands this time. So in this celebration of a card, I have lived in my head in the fairy forest all the time anyway. For my card, I wanted it to be like you were peering through the bushes or looking through the flowers like when you're crawling around like when you're a kid or if you're having fun as an adult crawling around and exploring in the woods and you look through and you see these three little fairies that are celebrating with each other in a circle and they're dancing and they're, they're celebrating each other. They're celebrating possibly an achievement, possibly a big moment in their lives, but you see the celebration, you see the happiness. So for the four wands or the four flowers in this case, they're going to be around the fairies who are celebrating in this group. So they'll be standing up, creating this cute little fairy cove for them to dance and celebrate in. We also have a tree giving them some shelter and a nice clear sky behind them, kind of giving off that same sense of positivity that we have in the original four of wands card. I wanted to not focus though on one event, like the original card focused on a wedding. I didn't want to focus on something so traditional. I wanted to focus more on this celebration of camaraderie and achievement and togetherness and also I've been hanging at the Renaissance Festival so my head is very much in the fairy world and that is what I wanted to focus on with this card is that sense of excitement and celebration and if you peered in on this little celebration it would also bring you joy as well. All right, you guys, and that is the Four of Wands card. I apologize for this being a little bit late. I was trying to get more of my voice back, but apparently this is all that Ursula will give me back currently. If you see the sea witch, yeah, shake her down for me. Tell him to give me back my voice because I need it really bad. I miss it. As I have announced before, I am going to be at the Sun Coast Renaissance Festival still again this weekend with or without my voice. I am trying my very best. We had our first weekend last weekend, and it was Pirate Weekend, and appropriately, this next upcoming week 
weekend will be fantasy weekend. I have my cousin flying down from Colorado to help me out with my booth and I'll be super very excited to see her and have her and as always if you've been to my booth you know my mom is there too so it'll be kind of like these three fairies dancing in this card. We'll have the three of us hanging out in the fairy forest and having a good time. So remember that is the Sun Coast Renaissance Festival. It is in Sarasota, Florida on the Sarasota Fairgrounds behind Robarts Arena. So come check us out. We're open 10 to 6 Saturday and Sunday. So this week I leave you with a very positive message even if it comes out of a little squeaky voice. <laughs> Remember to celebrate yourself. There are achievements happening in your life. There are these checkpoints or there are these traditional celebrations potentially that are happening in your life, but remember to celebrate yourself and celebrate your achievement and reap the benefits of your labor here. Dance around in the forest, celebrate yourself, celebrate yourself with others and, and let others also celebrate you. As always, have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous week. I hope to be back fully to myself next week to be here with you guys, but if I'm not, I will still squeak through it and I will be here next Tuesday. Remember, if you're interested in this tarot card deck, there is a link below for a pre-order alert so that you can be alerted when these cards are ready to go. And I have tarot card candles still available on my Etsy, which is also linked below and in my booth. As always, thank you guys for your continued support. Thank you so much for sitting here and listening to me be like this. I was trying to figure out another way to film Tarot Card Tuesday, but I figured powering through is just the best way to go. So thank you all for your continued support. And thank you all for being here. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys. I can still whistle though, so if I can learn how to communicate through just whistles, be good. <laughs>